awesome vlog. We're back at Disneyland today and there are a lot of changes. So before, when we were going to get on the tram, you would go through there where they have it all blocked off. We'd go under the parking structure and we'd get on the tram. They're making changes now that the new parking structure is gonna be opening soon and they have all these areas blocked off. So through there is where the tram goes. So we're gonna have to go under the new parking structure now to get on the tram. Let's go check it out. This is amazing, it's so nice. They have gates up here. You go through security here to go in and get on the tram. It's really, really nice. So we're here bright and early. We got up at 4.51 a.m. so that we could get on the freeways early enough to make it to Rope Drop. Let's see if we can make it, come on. These are the new escalators for the new parking structure, which is right over that direction. But if you can see behind me, there's a bridge. And that is a bridge from the new parking structure over to downtown Disney so that you can park and go right over there so you don't have to wait to cross the street. It's gonna be really convenient and really nice. This is really nice, the new security screening area because they have so many spots available that on really, really busy days and really busy times, they have a lot of available spaces and aisles to open up for people to come through to try to keep the lines down. It's a new security screening, a new process to get into the tram. We're gonna go through and get our bag checked. The way they have this set up in here, it's like the scare room from Monsters, Inc. It's so cool. And if you look up at the lights, they even have little Mickey Mouse cut out. They're so cute. This is so amazing and this is so smart because this allows people to actually get in line to get up to the train. We made it inside for rope drop. Disneyland doesn't open for another 15 minutes. We've come through the gates. We're heading down Main Street. Now we have to decide where we want to go and what we want to go on. Well, it's still so empty this morning. Come on. to Disneyland, the place where dreams come true. We're delighted to have you as our guests and invite you to let the memories begin. This morning, the Magic Kingdom will open at 8 o'clock. And whether this is your first visit or your 100th, we hope you'll find the joy of being young at heart here with us. Thank you, and may you enjoy your day in this magical place called Disneyland. All right, so we're just waiting for rope drop to happen. It's still about 12 minutes away before they're gonna do it. All of these people are waiting, and I'm sure the majority of them are going to be running towards Star Wars land, but everyone is lined up ready to run as soon as the, they drop the rope and let them in. It is 8.03 a.m. and we are just now getting on Pirates. All right, we're on the second boat on Pirates of the Caribbean of the day. All right, we're heading on to Haunted Mansion. No line. We came in the park for rope drop, we rode Pirates of the Caribbean, we rode Haunted Mansion, and now we have just walked right into Star Wars land. It is amazing. I mean, there are definitely people coming out here, but 
it's not closed. You don't have to have a boarding group in order to get in. People are just walking right in. So we're gonna head in and we're gonna get on the Millennium Falcon. Let's go. Now that we are in here, it is a little bit crowded, but we have determined where everybody is headed. It's clear that they're headed to the ride because right now, the wait for the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run is 180 minutes. So we're gonna head on back and check out Single Rider. There's the line trying to go in there and we're gonna head in Single Rider. Now, I need gunners to the We've made it to the stairs, so we're gonna see how long it takes us to get on in the single rider line. When we got in the single rider line for the Millennium Falcon, the regular line was three hours long. Three! It only took us 15 minutes to get on in the single rider line, and we got on the same ship. It was perfect. It's great that you can just visit Star Wars land and leave when you want now. We can just come right in, go on the ride, do a few little things if we want and just head out and not feel like we only have a certain amount of time we're allowed to be here. When we were actually in line waiting for rope drop, waiting to get into Disneyland, we were talking to a cast member who said all of the cast member passes were basically blocked for the next while, but they've already lifted the passes because yesterday, yesterday was the first day that everyone could just come in and out of Star Wars land and it was open without having to have a reservation. Because it was so empty yesterday, they lifted that, so now even the cast members are able to come in because it has been so empty lately. It's great that we can just come right out of Star Wars land and right to Big Thunder Mountain and get on. Here we go! relatively empty because everyone is in Star Wars land right now so it's great we're walking right on all of our favorite rides. Just give them back when the flight's over. That's all. Keep it moving. Keep it. So are you traveling alone? Enjoy the peace and quiet with the other 39 passengers. Yes, yes sir. Hey, you want to know what time your flight is leaving? Go ahead. It looks like the rides over there are empty as well, so there are some things we want to go on, and that's where we're going to have lunch. Come on.
We're getting ready to go on cars. Of course we did single rider like we always do here at Radiator Springs. But talk about walk right on. This is the single rider line. When we walked up, it was completely empty. We walked up and she brought us right over here and we're gonna be in the same car together. Where are you eating? Flo's V8 Diner. Flo's? Flo's. 